Hey y'all, it's Dustin and Berta. <laughs> we are very excited in this household because we are yeah. packing up the house and taking our kids to the beach for their spring break. That's right, and who does not love spring break? We that's sure true. do, and that's the best part about having kids is you get to relive the spring break moments. That's so true. Well, not so much like Not all of them. Not the, like the high yeah, school and college spring breaks. Hopefully our kids will never experience the spring breaks that I had in high school. <laughs> <laughs> Myrtle Beach, 1999. <laughs> oh my God. We are thrilled because we're going to be taking the dogs to the beach and they have oh, never yeah. seen the, the beach time. before. I forgot about that. It's yeah. going to be exciting. It's going to be so cute. Very cute. Yeah. Before we go to the beach, we do want to talk to you guys a little bit about the Don't Say Gay Bill. And as two gay dads, it's slightly disheartening that this is a thing. That's right. Public school teachers in Florida are now banned from holding classroom instruction about sexual orientation and gender identity after signing this controversial bill. Supporters of this bill say it allows parents to determine when and how they want to bring up LGBTQ plus topics to children and their children in particular, and it's allowing them to be able to sue the school districts if this is violated. For example, if our kids bring up the fact that they have two dads, or if other kids in the school ask why Holland and Stone have two dads, the teachers can't even discuss this really straightforward topic, helping them understand and the families come in different packages. Also another simple example, let's say a female teacher at a school is a lesbian and she is out to dinner with her wife and she runs into a student of hers. If they're back in the classroom and the student says, hey, who are you at dinner with? She can't say that she's out with her wife because she might be in fear of getting sued for that. This bill makes it so that teachers, students, and parents that happen to be gay, or even have gay parents, yeah, feel like their whole existence is so shameful that it cannot even be discussed. And studies have shown that LGBTQ youth already face higher suicide risks than their straight peers. But when those kids are given access to spaces that affirm their gender identity, they report lower rates of suicide attempts. And if a student identifies as gay and they want to talk to someone that they feel comfortable with, like their teacher or their counselor, they are no longer able to do that in Florida. We're so comfortable with elementary students watching Disney movies where you have this princess fall in love with the prince. Right kissing like the whole sha la 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 don't be scared you got the mood prepared you want to kiss the girl but heaven forbid we expose lgbtq plus or gay couples to our youth that's right a true love's kiss should be for everyone not just snow white and her prince so say gay is not that big of a deal that's true give me a kiss see it's not scary About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. Finally made it at the beach. We did finally make it at the beach. You happy? Yeah. I'm a little beach boy. Shark's tooth I found. Oh. I don't know why, but ever since I was a kid, I always find shark's teeth. It's a weird thing. Found some more things. Let me see. Whoa! Look at all the collection. Bud, you're a little explorer. I I, I look on the field. Watch. Oh. Secret. It is a secret hiding place. You're so smart.
So my mom, you know her as Mimi, came to the beach to hang out with us for the week. <laughs> and she brought a fun project for the kids. Yeah, so these are kites and the kids get to color them and then we are going to attempt to fly them later. So, are you guys excited about yeah. doing this? Yeah. yeah. So what we want to do is go fast down to a car. Oh, nice. Look at Easter carrots. Easter carrots. Yeah. You are lucky. Lucky I'm bunnies. Easter so, I'm the bunny. <laughs> I'm yeah. the real Easter bunny. Easter bunny. Ah! It's a beautiful day at the beach, and I'm with my cousin Mackenzie, which is a very odd story. So I googled a house that was pet friendly in North Carolina, and the only house that I could find last minute was literally four houses down from where Mackenzie lives. Lucky me. <laughs> <laughs> no, lucky us, we have a babysitter. <laughs> Look at you guys, looking all cool with your glasses. Are you guys excited about going to the beach? Yeah. All right, let's go do it, come on. Oh, yeah, totally. Okay. <laughs> Wait, I want the crabs. Crabs? They kind of, they live in the sand. Don't they live in the sand? Where are your crabs at? Um, mine aren't in the sand. <laughs> Extravaganza. No, Crabaganza. Okay. Don't hurt my crab. Tickle. His name is Tickle. His name is Tickle. <laughs> <laughs> yummy, yummy, yummy. He's not eating it. Step on these mustaches. Are these mustaches? Yeah. No, I don't want to step on the mustaches. I hate mustaches. I have a mustache. Well, your mustache looks We've... great. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> My mustache looks great. We renamed it to Mustache Island. Mustache Island. <laughs> mustache Island. Mustache Island. Dun, 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 dun. Mustache Island. Alright guys, you hungry? Yeah. yeah. I'll be your server today. <laughs> hey, just so everyone knows, I, I forgot my shoes. <laughs> Why? Is it because you don't have pants on? <laughs> I forgot my pants on. <laughs> that is a true story, everybody, by the way. <laughs> we didn't realize we were going to go from beach to restaurant. She doesn't have pants on. It's just a normal day for me. <laughs> Another one. Right there.
Thank you.